In this video, we're going to look at rationalizing the denominator of 2 root 20x to the 5th minus 12x squared under the square root all over the square root of 18x. And there's a couple steps we can take as we simplify, reduce, and rationalize this expression. To make life easier for us, to make the numbers smaller, I'm going to suggest reducing the individual radicals first. So let's see what we can do. Um, this 20, let's factor that 20 off to the side because there's no room underneath. 20 is 2 times 10 and 10 is 2 times 5. And so what we might see is there's a pair of 2's that can come outside the radical. So we'll put the 2 outside the radical here. 2 times 2 is now 4 and inside the radical we're left with a 5. We can also simplify the x's. Remember that we divide the exponent by the index with square root. That's an index of 2. 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1. So 2 x's come out and 1 remains inside the radical. Minus, simplifying the 12 x squared, 12, that factors to 6 times 2 and 6 is 2 times 3. And again, we notice we have a pair of 2's, so that means we can pull a 2 out of the radical, leaving a 3 inside the radical. And then again, we're going to divide that exponent by the index. With nothing written, we assume the index is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we have a single x coming out of the radical. All over, simplify the 18. 18 is 6 times 3, and 3 is 2 times 3. And so we see we have a pair of 3's outside the radical and a 2 inside the radical, along with the x. No exponent, it's not going to simplify. Now that we've done the work of going through and simplifying each radical, we're ready to go through and actually rationalize that denominator. We've got a factor of 2 and a factor of x under a square root. We need a total of 2 of each of those factors, so we need an additional 2 and an additional x. That'll give us 2 of each of those factors under a square root, so we'll be able to pull that out. Don't forget to put the numerator in parentheses and distribute. 4x squared outside's unchanged. Square root of 5 times 2 is 10. x squared minus 2x outside unchanged under the square root is 6x. Over, there's a 3 outside the radical. A pair of 2's pulls a single 2 outside of the radical. And a pair of x's pulls a single x outside the radical, and nothing is left inside the radical. A little simplifying. The square root of x squared, divide that exponent by the index. We're going to pull the x out completely. That's going to give us 4x cubed, square root of 10, minus 2x, square root of 6x, all over 3 times 2x is 6x. So we've done two things so far. We simplified the radicals. Then we rationalized the denominator by multiplying by root 2x. We're not done yet, though, because we can still, if I scroll here to get some more space, we can still simplify that fraction by reducing. However, before we reduce, we remember it's important we factor first. We can only reduce factors. So in the numerator, you'll see there's a greatest common factor of 2x. leaving behind 2x squared root 10 minus the square root of 6x all over 6x. And now I can go back and reduce the factors of x and 2 reduces with 6 leaving a 3 behind. And so we end up with the final solution of 2x squared root 10 minus the square root of 6x, all over 3. So several forms of simplifying.